Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make Data Life's new plugin, Endless Smile, using just Ableton Live devices. <laughs> Save you a little bit of money. Uh, Endless Smile is a quote unquote build up plugin made by the people who brought Sausage Fattener to life, which is just a really simple game plugin with a little bit of saturation tied into it where you just tweak one knob. And uh, I mean, it's, it's been around, you've probably heard of it, but this is a new one. And it just essentially adds some reverb and delay to a buildup that you've already programmed and adds maybe a little bit of noise to it to create tension before a drop. It's, it's really simple. And uh, I've went ahead and just made it a one knob rack inside of Ableton Live using just live plugins. And this is what it sounds like. And this is what that track sounds like without the plugin that I made or the effects rack. So it is, it's really strange, the plugin, man, because it essentially re still requires you to make a great buildup. And then it just kind of adds a little bit more, I guess. It, I guess it, it doesn't really do too much. I suggest you go uh, check out a video demonstration of it. It doesn't do too much. Uh, there are a couple of different presets and I guess that gives it some flexibility, but I'm gonna show you how to make it with just a few Ableton Live devices and it gets essentially the same thing done. I've made one of these a long time ago too, uh, but this is kind of a ramped up version. Let me just go ahead and drop a different track on here so you can hear it in a different environment. So this is a 140 BPM track and it's just got one automation line. In here, the buildup is actually eight bars. So what we need to do is just drive the, pull the automation line over and have it start right around here. And as you can see, there's just one big like kind of pre-drop snare thing happening. So we can just let it come down like that and get away. So let's first go ahead and check out the build up without the effects rack. <laughs> And this is where it actually, the, the rack that I made puts a lot more to that buildup. The buildup's kind of simple, and of course this is from a sample pack. I'll leave a link to the sample pack, really great sample pack. But the buildup is kind of simple because again, it's for a sample pack. There wasn't a lot of time and effort put into it. But if you just add this one rack with that one automation line, this is what we get now. <laughs> So as you can see, it actually adds a bunch uh, to that. So I mean, I'm not completely knocking the Data Life plugin, but if you don't want to drop, I don't know how much it is, it's like 20 bucks or something. If you don't want to drop that money and you already have the Ableton Live Suite, you don't really need to. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this rack. And of course, as usual, if you want to download it, it's going to be up on the blog for you guys to download for free. No big deal, but I'm gonna show you how to make it too because it was kind of fun to make. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can't build this thing. Go ahead and delete it. And we're gonna go ahead and use a audio effects rack. So let's go to audio effects. And the first thing I'm gonna actually put on is the resonator because I want you to hear how cool it is. And this is kind of an effect that's overlooked, I think, too much. So if I go ahead and play this right now at 50%. So you can hear it's adding tones to the signal based on the audio being fed into it. And that's what's really cool about the thing. So if we go ahead and map that to macro one and then automate that over time, let's say go up to 60% or something from here to there, let's go ahead and just automate this line so we don't have to keep tweaking the knob. Uh, you'll hear that it adds, just that adds a bunch to the buildup itself. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Uh, the next thing we can do is add the overdrive so we can really start pushing that sound. And we're going to map uh, the frequency to macro one, the drive to macro one. We want to ma map the dry wet to macro one and the on off button to macro one. And while we're doing that, the on off button to macro one, two for the resonator. 
go into map mode. The on off switches, all you're gonna to wanna to do is type in one zero, and that means when the macro knob is at zero, the device will be off, and anything above is just activated. So it's just a good way to save CPU and also to make sure you're not affecting anything uh, that you shouldn't be. So again, go up to this, one zero, cool. Filter frequency, let's see what happens. Uh, it's a pretty cool move there. We definitely don't want the drive to go up to 100%, so we need to find overdrive. Let's put it up to 60% just to start. And wet signal, let's push it to 52 and see what happens when we move this macro knob over this. <laughs> So you can see we've already affected that a lot. We've taken that essential build up and made it into something really cool. So an effect like this would be really great for live situations where you want to kind of switch stuff up on the fly, maybe add some breakdowns and build ups to your, to your tracks or anything like that, just to kind of be doing something while you quote unquote DJ with Ableton Live. But let's jump out of map mode, get back into this. Um, what else do we have on there? We had a filter. I want to kind of wash it out like, you know, build ups kind of do sometimes. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the filter here and map to macro one, map to macro, whoa, map to macro one, and also the resonance to macro one. And see how that's crazy. We definitely can't have that. So come into auto filter again, one zero and frequency somewhere around here and definitely turn that off. We want a little bit of resonance just because it kind of adds to the tension. Let's go ahead and see. Pretty cool, right? So again, like at any time you think it sounds good enough, you don't know you don't need to keep adding stuff like I'm gonna keep doing. I'm just gonna go a little bit crazy. But I mean, that sounds pretty good as an effect by itself. I think that's pretty good the way it is. Come out of map mode. I mean, there's just so many possibilities. You can start adding chorus, you can start adding beat repeats, you can start doing a lot to make the sound more and more crazy. But we're gonna keep it fairly simple. Let's put a ping pong delay on here. And you're also gonna to wanna to play with the uh, chain itself. What's first, second, and third in the effects chain? That's gonna change some of the sounds. Uh, but again, let's map the feedback, let's map the dry wet, let's map the ping pong, and jump into map mode. Where's the ping pong? One, zero. Feedback, I'm gonna go up to 50%, maybe maybe 60, push it a little bit. You just gotta be careful. Anything over 50 is gonna start having more of the affected audio and less of the original uh, audio itself. So you're gonna have uh, a decrease in output volume I mean, depending on the effect, obviously, but you want to be careful there once you start going past 50. Like 100% is just going to be the affected signal, and that's going to be a little bit uh, iffy. So I'm going to just leave it at 60 for now, and I don't want to go too crazy. Let's try 50%, and let's also map the frequency here just because why not, right? And let's just see what happens now. Let's go ahead and try this out. <laughs> Pretty cool. And again, let's jump into the reverb. I'm just using the default presets here. I'm not doing too much, but like I always say, you want to come in and fine tune these things to make them even more incredible. But I mean, this tutorial is already like 10 minutes long, so we're getting kind of crazy. I'm just going to map the dry wet for this and jump back in and map my, oh, I got to map the uh, on off too. Don't ever forget that. It's very important. One zero dry wet. Let's go up to, I don't know. Let's be crazy. 73. So you can see right there, um, because of that reverb, the volume really dips down there. And that's not exactly what we want. Sometimes it's what you want, but that's usually not what you want for a buildup because you're building tension, just like that Data Life plugin. So what we'd want to do is come into the utility and drop it on. Come over here, blammo. Map to macro one, map to macro one, and then jump into the map and come into utility one zero. And this one we wanted to start at zero and go up to about eight dB. So now let's go ahead and hear that. <laughs> Pretty 
Pretty sweet. And if we wanted to add one more a limiter, you always want to add a limiter when you're doing crazy stuff like this, just because like, you know, you don't ever want to be clipping the signal because clip is bad. That on, boom, leave it at zero, leave it on all the time just cause. And that should be pretty cool. Let's check it out. Pull it over just a little bit more. And of course, like if you maybe don't want that much, much resonance coming in, which I think is a little bit too much, we can always just come in and change the, you know, up to 50% or change it down to 50% instead of having to go to 60, you know, whatever it is, man, I can't stress it enough. You need to make these changes, these little tweaks and stuff. For this tutorial, I'm really just trying to show you possibilities, not try to show you exactly what to do with anything because it's art, man. We're trying to do what we're trying to do. So, you know, maybe we want to boost up maybe more delay, maybe more reverb, stuff like this. And if, don't forget your curve lines. Just hold down Alt and drag and get a curve line so the build-up's a little bit more buildy up here. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. Um, that's where I'm going to stop. You can obviously, like I said, man, there's lots of great effects inside of Ableton Live that, I mean, you got the Redux, you got the phaser, you can add the chorus, you can add so much just to make your own one knob wonders. And you don't really need to drop 20, 30 bucks on a plugin that's doing the same thing. It's a little bit better, their plug. Obviously, they have like a white noise sample. I tried to think of a way to fit it inside of here, but I think uh, you'd have to do a little bit of routing and stuff. It'd get a little bit more complicated. And that is one thing that it has over what I have the ability to do inside Ableton Live. It has the ability to run that sample. I mean, it's easy to do it, but it's a little more, a little more complicated and then just this one nub effect right here. But anyway, this is a little bit different than the other one, so I'm going to throw them both up on the blog for you to download. Don't forget to share the videos, guys. It helps me out a lot. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.